Whoa! Uh... Hi! Well, welcome back to State of Decay 2 and the Commune. Uh, people are shooting all over this base. And uh, here I am with a new character, Dave. Uh, I started a mission with Hurley. And uh, I was going all over my map looking for ammo and fuel. I found a bunch, but I didn't find the ammo I actually queued up in a mission to go and get. So I need to go get that ammo. I've also been letting some infestations fester over here that I should go grab. And there's a small chance maybe there's some ammo over here. It's probably cleared out. Um, and then I've also got some completed bounties that I need to take back to the bounty broker. So that's going to be our agenda for today. We're going to start going in this direction and then just see where else we can get. But unfortunately, I don't. Uh, well, the reason I was looking for ammo and fuel is I just I don't have a lot of fire. I've got 11 fuel right now, 17 ammo. My ammo's doing a little bit better. I found more of that, but I don't have a lot of fuel. I don't want to waste it, waste too much of it on fire. So if I could find Hurley, I, I actually gave him a, an extra Molotov. It's in his inventory, and if I could just go talk to him, I could just grab it from him real quick. Unfortunately. That's not how this works. Um, he could be... I don't think that's Hurley. Ah, it's somebody with a hat. Unfortunately... Okay, so I've got these little diamonds on the map that tell me where my people are. Wait, that's just a dead zombie. Okay. They tell me where my people are. But they don't tell me which people. And so there's no really good way for me to target and find a particular person. And that's actually a feature we've talked about trying to add. Maybe giving you the ability to like open up your community screen, push a button on somebody and say, hey, show me where this person is. Um, or make this person my follower. Oh, there's Hurley. Hey there, Hurley. Let's look in your inventory. Okay, so I lucked out and I found Hurley. And that's nice. But uh, it would have been cool if I had a tool that made that easier. So it's on our wish list. Uh, you know, but it's... We're working on the infestation update right now, so it would probably thematically fit in with a different update. So I, I'm not expecting anyone to just jump on it anytime soon. But yeah, okay, so we're going to head out on the road. And we're going to try to grab a little bit more ammunition. So yeah, so right now, today, I'm a very tired dude, and I, I went into detail in the last episode about all of my insomnia issues. I'm not going to try to repeat that here. But uh, I didn't get very much sleep last night, so... I'm not up for any, like, huge challenges. So basically, we're doing another episode where I'm just, like, take, taking care of the shopping list. Hopefully, if things go right next week, maybe I'll actually get around to trying to complete this, this team's legacy. No promises. But I would like to do it, because I would like to sort of move on to the next chapter in my exploration of parts of my own game that I haven't completed yet. Oh! Zedric suggests that one way to find someone is to mark them for exile or for demotion if they're the leader and uh, and then just not follow through with it because that does mark them specifically. That's a really good point, Zedric. We, okay, I guess we did kind of add that feature just with extra steps. Okay, well, great. Don't need, the, don't need that feature anymore. No, it still would be better if we got that feature. All right, so is this... Ah, yes. So these sheds that have the um, the deer antlers on top of them, these are ammo sheds. So when you see one of these, usually sheds are for materials. But what we found was, when we were working on the game, we found that we had actually not put enough uh, sites in the game that were good at giving ammo. And so because of that, we needed very late in the game, without changing... A lot of collision without changing a lot of nav mesh without do taking on a bunch of extra risk very late very close to release we needed to add a bunch more ammo sites and so that's why uh, the artists i believe came up with the idea of doing hunting sheds where uh, we could take a normal shed that usually would offer materials or some of our sheds just offer you know random crap not very exciting stuff um, take some of those sheds and swap them out for ammo sheds um, so they came up with a version of the shed that looks thematically like it should have ammo in it. And then they scattered those across the uh, the parts of the game that were low on ammo. To sort of balance out the availability of ammo across the game. Because, you know, most I think most of our levels have about the same number of um, uh, gun shops and military sites. Uh, there's probably at least one that is an outlier in those. And then I know that, like, Meager Valley, for instance, has got way more barns than anybody else. Um, and barns are also another great source of ammo. So you can see there would be kind of a... Uh, like an, an imbalance 
basically, uh, based on that. So, okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm headed... Where am I headed? Did I not mark anything? I think I didn't mark anything. I'm headed up to these infestations. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to go up to these infestations. I'm going to knock on the door and say, Hello, would you like to hear a message about being a human and not dead? And uh, they'll slam the door in my face, but then they'll come and try to eat me. And that's when I'm going to deliver the killing blow. I'm very tired. I don't know why I think this patter is entertaining. <laughs> but I hope you're enjoying it. Um, cause I, I, I am kind of half asleep. So J, uh, JJM Spurs says, I didn't have a console for years, uh, but a few years ago I bought myself an Xbox One S and this is one of the first games I got. Uh, I still play it. I now have the new Series X and I just downloaded it again and will be playing it over the next few days. I can't wait for the new one though. Thank you, JJ. That, that is really, really kind of you to say. Oh yeah, right. I just realized I'm playing a character who does not have swordplay anymore. I was playing a swordplay character for so long, I got used to just tapping, tapping Y on every character. Oh, wait. Okay. So that fire probably got a bunch of them. Not all of them. Who are we missing? Who are we missing? Oh, oh, somebody's over here. Hey there. Smack in the face. Okay, this is not helping. Attracting other zombies isn't helping me clear this infestation. Come on. How many of you are there? More? Oh. Okay, whatever. I should probably switch this out for the gun that actually has ammo refills. Okay. That's one infestation. Oh yeah, so JM, uh, JJM Spurs says that the only thing he his complaint about the game is that he wishes he had like more of a first person uh, sniping uh, perspective, like say in Vigor, for instance, where um, when you when you zoom in with a weapon, you actually are, are looking down the sight and you can look down a scope and, and stuff like that. Yeah, we um, we considered that one of the reasons why we rejected it. Well, partly you know our game had limited time and money, and you know, we had to cut something, so that's one. But one of the reasons why um, that particular thing was challenging was because, and this is a thing you don't think about very often, um, the more the player can zoom in on the environment, the further you have to render things at high detail. Oh crap, okay. Oh crap, I did not actually need to go right in there. Um, there, that's what I meant. Hello. What? Did I not kill that thing? There we go. Okay, so that was the last of my fire. So, um... Let's try to avoid some zombies for just a second. If I recover. So this is not one of my more experienced characters. So, he doesn't have a lot of, like, special combat abilities or anything. Whoa. Those guys were... Synchronized swimmers before they die. Anyway, so basically, you know, most of the time we use what were called LODs or level of detail models, uh, where like each object in the game, it's got sort of the uh, high resolution version that you see when you look up close at it, but sort of embedded in it as an object, it's got alternate versions of it that appear when you're far away. And at some point, each object has got a distance at which it just disappears and doesn't render anymore at all, in, in many cases. Um, and so, you know, and so when you're looking, you know, really close at something, you want, you expect it to have a lot of detail. When you're looking far away from it, you don't need a lot of detail on it. And it's okay if it's just a little smudge and it's a little, in real life, you're looking at a very low poly model, but you can't tell because you're so far away. But if you have a scope, you can zoom in and see the low LOD model. And so that means that we have to stretch out the distance at which you can switch to the lower LOD models, which means that 
your entire scene has got more polygons in it, which means it's harder to render, which means the frame rate gets worse. Um, and so, or it means you decide that the entire game has to be lower poly so that you don't have to do that. And so uh, it's, it's basically, it's part of the sort of the tug of war between wanting to have really sort of like high resolution, high detail models and wanting to have good performance. And that's already a complicated problem to solve. Um, but then adding scopes into the game complicates the problem even more. And so that was one of the reasons why we sort of like kind of justified to ourselves that uh, we were not going to include scopes in the game. And again, part of it was just there's a lot to do and eliminating that meant that there was one less thing to do. And that's that's really important for, for you know getting a game actually shipped and out to players instead of it just taking forever. Um, but the reason why like that was also attractive is because it made making the game performant easier to achieve. Um, and, and, you know, when you've got, you know, a lot of, like, very uh, challenging goals when it comes to your, you know, your, your, your graphics and your performance and uh, limited time and resources to achieve them, uh, finding a shortcut like that, finding a thing you can eliminate that definitely makes a lot of your problems go away is, is really, really attractive. But theoret I mean, but there's definitely not a reason why, you know, having a scope in a game like this couldn't work. It absolutely could. Design-wise, there isn't a reason why we should not have scopes in the game. It's entirely like a technical and resource question. And so this this game did not end up with scopes. It, you know, maybe someday if we figured out a really good sort of way to balance it, I could see someday maybe adding that feature. It's it's it, but it's also like there's 900 features we could add, so I wouldn't bank on that particular one. But anyway, it's not impossible, and there's not a reason why the game could not support it, theoretically. It's just, yeah, it was one of the sacrifices we had to make. Okay, this guy's got a missing son. Sure, I'm right here. Why not? Where was the last lo known location of your son? Oh, way up there. Right on my way, because I'm headed to the Bounty Broker. And, oh, another one. Okay, yeah, this is right on my way anyway, so great. Your missing child is convenient for me. Oh, crap. Hey. There we go. There we go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We're almost out of gas and almost out of repair. Uh, so let's put some distance between us and these bad guys. And uh, then worry about where we're headed and how we are going to fix this car. Did I actually bring a repair kit? I probably didn't. That seems like the kind of thing I would not do. Um, I could at least gas it up and just try to avoid zombies with it. Oh, the Coalition is telling me that I should bring Plague Cure on the mission to the sun. Well, you know what? Ah, stop it. I need to repair this car anyway, so let's, before we hit up the sun, I've completely forgotten this mission. I forget what happens on this mission, so thank you for the warning. Um, let's head to an outpost, let's get a repair kit, let's fuel up the car, and then, um, and yeah, let's bring some plague gear. And look, it's our lovely, uh, it's our lovely little outpost that we made last time we played. Come in here. There's zombies around, but this place should be safe. <laughs> Zedric is, uh... Wait, what am I looking for? Wait, what are you doing here? No, 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 no. Get off my friend. Hey, don't shoot at me. Um... Okay. That's the door. Okay. Why can't I... Am I in the wrong place again? Oh, no. Oh, there it is. I just walked right by it. Okay, here we go. So, let's bring a plague cure. Let's also grab ourselves a repair kit and an extra fuel. Why not? So, repair our car. Yeah, so Zedric is uh, predicting that State of Decay 4 will be on a space station. 
Is that going to be like the, um, didn't they do like a Jason Voorhees in space movie at one point? <laughs> it would be a little bit like that, I think, in terms of just seeming weird and out of the blue. Okay, you know what? Since I've got this buddy with me, let's go do the infestation next. Get off. Let's go do this infestation with backup, and then we'll take him to his friend. Then we'll cl uh, cash in our bounties, and then I'll go to bed. Now I can't go to bed. Got other stuff to do before bed. Ugh. Hey, Juggernaut. I sure hope that juggernaut All right, here we go. Slightly longer drive than I thought it was gonna be. Wait, have I gone a dumb way? I've probably gone a dumb way. It's across the river. Okay, well, let's, um, there's a good place to ford around here somewhere, isn't there? I'm sure there is. Yeah, I think I might just go down the river this way. There we go. Nice little ford. I don't have, I don't have any fire. Usually, I like to lead with fire because it just takes out a lot of guys real fast. Oh, stop. Come on. Okay, I was trying to shoot at the source of the vomit, but I couldn't really see it. Nope. At least you can shoot them to interrupt the screen. Even if you even if you know it's it's hard to get a headshot in that moment. Unfortunately, so we've let them scream a couple of times, which means this infestation's gonna get bigger. Come on. Okay, oh we got it! We got it! Nice. Okay, let's clear out the area around the car. All right, here we go. Back to the sun. So Xander tells me that apparently Jason X and Leprechaun 4 were both in space. So, and also, uh, the latest Fast and the Furious movie went to space, too, didn't it? Not entirely to space. It's not like the whole thing was set in space, but there was a little flirting with space, wasn't there? They just... I don't know. I feel like going to space is kind of like jumping the shark a little bit, isn't it? It's like you're just sort of admitting that you're, that you're done. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Isn't the bounty broker between me and my destination? Maybe we should just hit up the bounty broker. Something like down here? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Let's make this fight a little easier. Roar! Oh, well, while you're roaring, I'm just gonna knock your head off. Is that cool? Let's make as much noise as possible, buddy. All right. Hey, bounty broker. I completed some bounties. I get to have the 1911 long slide, and I get to have Spaz 12. So what else do I want to get? Kill six juggernauts, whatever. Uh, kill six zombies with fire? Oh, I did that today. Uh, oh, teammate kill 10 Zeds grappled by you. I've got a teammate. Um, and then close combat zombies. I think I think a stealth kill counts as that. Even if you're if you're not even if you've got a normal weapon, if you do a stealth kill, I think it counts as that. So let's head over towards the sun. 
But let's see if we can get into some trouble before then. All right. Uh, that's not how you're supposed to kill this zombie. Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it! Dude, you do not... Oh, I just can't even with you. <laughs> Think you got a cool name like Hook? Here, kill him. No! What are you... E what are you even doing? Take that. Pfft. You deserve it. Okay, so, okay, it looks like I actually did get credit for those two zombies. Weird. Let's just thin this herd a little bit. Yeah. Trying to grab somebody. Hey, 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 have some priorities. Look. Why do you only want to shoot? Oh, that's weird, man. Okay. So I think that these zombies hold on to their grappled status a little longer than it looks like they do. Because I've gotten credit for more of these than it feels like I should have gotten credit for. Again, you deserve it. There we go. Okay, that was six. Ah, oh, that was so weird. All right, let's go find some more. Well, I got you here, buddy. Cause I almost know, I almost never go out with followers. Cause I'm scared of losing a character. But since I got this guy anyway. Uh. Okay, so my, the sun is to the west, but I'm just gonna drive around. I hear, I hear something. Oh, hey, there's a zombie. Get him! Yeah! Look, there's some more over here, buddy. Come here, guys. Come here. Hey, we're right here. I'm not getting in that cloud with you. Come on. Again, again with the gun. Come on, get him. Oh, what is your deal? Stop it. Okay, I'm out of snacks, so I gotta sort of run around a little bit. Try to get my stamina back. There it comes. Why is he switching to the gun for this? This is fascinating. Oh, gosh. Okay. Hold on. It's like he's switching to the gun to specifically to fight a zombie that I'm grappling. Ugh. Try again. There we go. Eight out of ten. Oh, come on. Okay, so... Matador, Malator is suggesting... I almost called you Matador. Uh, done any bullfighting lately? Malator is suggesting that because I keep shooting zombies, he might be following my behavior. Okay, so now I've... Nope. I hit a zombie with melee. He's still switching to shooting when I grab the zombie. Okay. 
That one counted. I picked him up just as he was <laughs> deciding to shoot. Okay, you. Hey, you, come here. Oh, that was an accident. Um, wait, is that a... That's a screamer, isn't it? Careful. Screamer there. Can I sneak up on the screamer? Maybe I can get credit for two things at once. A freaking melee and a close combat kill. There we go. Nice. Okay, not doing that with this guy. Hey, you. Come here. Yes. Did it. Get in. All right. Anyway, what the heck was I doing? Oh, yeah. I was going to go rescue this guy's son. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's another screamer. There's another screamer. We got to do this. I'm too far away. Let's run around and get behind him. No, stop. Stop rotating. Stop freaking rotating. What are you doing? Yeah, there you go. No, stop looking at me. Uh. There you go. All right, anyway, car. Oh, everybody's coming now. Oh, what? Feral? Stop! Oh, thank you. Oh, now you can shoot for the head. I mean, I guess I was going to pick a time for him to shoot for the head. It would be when we're facing a feral. That is the better time. Not when I'm just doing silly bounties. But, still. Okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> Zedric is comparing Hook here to William Tell. Because he insists on shooting things really close to my head. And considering how, how you know, obsessed he is with getting his son back, it does make me worry a little bit this might be William Tell. I don't know. Oh, crap. Hey, everybody. Okay, we got one. Zombie near me. Oh yeah, I had completely forgotten that this is an enemy, like an enemy human mission. All right, and then oh, and they're covering their head. Okay, okay. My last bullet. It was my last bullet. Took that person out. Well, my last bullet in this gun, anyway. Um, I don't have a lot of space in my inventory. Ooh, good snacks, though. Um, you know what? I do not need this. Ooh, pink cat backpack? Absolutely. And then... Search this one. Another fencing tool. Okay, I don't need a crowbar. Fencing tool's cool. Yeah, let's do that. Hey there. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I was so close. I can't believe my baby's dead. I was saving this for when I found him. You should have it. No place to put it. Oh, crap. Wait, so... Why did Coalition tell me to bring a, um... A plague cure? Are there different potential endings to this one? Okay, I don't need a standard orange backpack. Let's take the peanut butter chips. Okay, yeah, so Zedric tells me that, yeah, that, that this, there's several different potential branches to this. That's what I thought, because, I, I mean, I've seen, I've seen this mission more often by, lo like, looking at the mission scripting in the game than I've actually played it as a player. And so I'm aware of the fact that, yeah, this does... Excuse me, Hook. <laughs> this mission has a bunch of branches. Okay, so, yeah. So I needed that in case... I guess there's a branch where 
he's infected with plague, you need to cure him, or there's some kind of plague thing going on. So, cool. But yeah, we got the humans instead. And uh, I'm very proud of... What's my character's name? Dave. I'm very proud of Dave having successfully taken on three hostile humans with a friend, uh, despite being a pretty low-level character. So, Dave, Dave gets some kudos from me. And now we're headed home, because I, I don't even know why I'm still awake. <laughs> ah, so Bardic Angel says that if you have sp that you know what? I think you're probably right. That makes perfect sense. So basically, it probably checks to see if you have space in your community so that you can potentially uh, uh, recruit these people. But if you don't have space in your community, it kills one of them off. It's brutal, right? I'm glad we don't live in a simulation. Simulations are mean. Make bad things happen to people for bad reasons. So Jedi Psychtrix was surprised by me saying that I needed to go to bed. She's like, wait, aren't you behind me uh, by like three hours? Yes, uh, so I've been complaining throughout this streaming session about how tired I am because I had a massive bout with insomnia last night. So I got like one hour of sleep last night. So I definitely need to wrap this up. Nice. And then, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll talk about like, you know, uh, future streaming plans and stuff like that after we wrap up the episode. But there we go. Check it out. We are now infestation free again. And also as of last episode, uh, we managed to get our ammo up to 23, our fuel up to 11. You know, it's okay. Better than it was. And, uh, yeah, we are ready to get out of here. Let me quickly just check with the chat and see what I've missed. I'm sure it was a ton. <laughs> uh, Balator asks if time affects the branching of that mission. I don't believe so. I think that actually, um, the way that our scripting system works, you have to actually choose the branch at the very outset of the mission. Um, and so... It's, it's weird. There's reasons. It has to do with, like, spawning the right stuff. Uh, any stuff that you spawn, like, for instance, spawning those three human characters, the game actually had to decide to spawn them at the very beginning of the mission. It couldn't make that decision later on. Um, and so so it had so it wouldn't have been based on time uh, because at the, it's outside the mission, game doesn't know how long you're going to take to get there. So interesting little tidbit about our weird, inadequate tools. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. No, there were reasons for it to work that way. Uh, very good technical reasons, avoiding a lot of bugs. I'm not really complaining, but uh, yeah. Red of Cord, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll talk about streaming plans in just a second. Let's wrap up this uh, this episode. So, there's a subscribe button. Uh, here's links to other episodes, including this one, which is the next one with the commune, which I have not made yet, and will probably not be there for a little while.